Good morning and happy Easter. Christ has risen, is risen indeed. Welcome to this special edition of Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and the Ave Maria Radio app. I'm Matthew Handley. This morning we're doing something similar to what we did on Friday. I'll be sharing some special readings for your inspiration as we get started in the octave of Easter. This first reading is from the first letter of the Apostle Peter. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who he in his great mercy gave us new birth, a birth unto hope which draws its life from the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, a birth to an imperishable inheritance, incapable of fading or defilement, which is kept in heaven for you who are guarded with God's power through faith, a birth to salvation which stands ready to be revealed in the last days. There is cause for rejoicing here, You may for a time have to suffer the distress of many trials, but this is so that your faith, which is more precious than the passing splendor of fire-tried gold, may by its genuineness lead to praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ appears. Although you have never seen him, you have loved him, and without seeing you now believe in him and rejoice with inexpressible joy touched with glory because you are achieving faith's goal, your salvation. This is the salvation which the prophets carefully searched out and examined. They prophesied the divine favor that was destined to be yours. They investigated the times and the circumstances which the Spirit of Christ within them was pointing to, for he predicted the sufferings destined for Christ and the glories that would follow. They knew by revelation that they were providing not for themselves but for you what has now been proclaimed to you by those who preach the gospel to you in the power of the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. Into these matters angels long to search. So gird the loins of your understanding, live soberly, set all your hope on the gift to be conferred on you when Christ Jesus appears. As obedient sons, do not yield to the desires that once shaped you in your ignorance. Rather, become holy yourselves in every aspect of your conduct, after the likeness of the Holy One who called you. Remember, Scripture says, Be holy, for I am holy. In prayer you call upon a Father who judges each one justly on the basis of his actions. Since this is so, conduct yourselves reverently during your sojourn in a strange land. Realize that you were delivered from the futile way of life your fathers handed on to you, not by any diminishable sum of silver or gold, but by Christ's blood beyond all price, the blood of a spotless, unblemished lamb, chosen before the world's foundation, and revealed for your sake in these last days. It is through him that you are believers in God, the God who raised him from the dead and gave him glory. Your faith and hope, then, are centered in God. Again, that's the beginning of the first letter of the Apostle Peter. You're listening to a special edition of Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio and streaming anywhere you go with the free Ave Maria Radio app. We have more for you on this Easter Monday as you celebrate the octave of Easter, That's coming up in just a few minutes. Now this. Welcome back to this special edition of Michigan Mornings from Ave Maria Radio. I'm Matthew Handley. I want to share with you now an Easter homily by Melito of Sardis. He writes, We should understand, beloved, that the Paschal mystery is at once old and new, transitory and eternal corruptible and incorruptible, mortal and immortal. In terms of the law, it is old. In terms of the word, it is new. In its figure, it is passing. In its grace, it is eternal. It is corruptible in the sacrifice of the Lamb, incorruptible in the eternal life of the Lord. It is mortal in his burial on earth, immortal in his resurrection from the dead. The law indeed is old, but the word is new. The type is transitory, but grace is eternal. The lamb was corruptible, but the Lord is incorruptible. He was slain as a lamb. He rose again as God. He was led like a sheep to the slaughter, yet he was not a sheep. He was silent as a lamb, yet he was not a lamb. The type has passed away. The reality has come. The lamb gives place to God. The sheep gives place to man. And the man is Christ, who fills the whole creation. The sacrifice of the Lamb, the celebration of the Passover, and the prescriptions of the law have been fulfilled in Jesus Christ. Under the old law, and still more under the new dispensation, everything pointed toward Him. Both the law and the Word came forth from Zion and Jerusalem, but now the law has given place to the Word, the old to the new. The commandment has become grace, 
the type a reality. The lamb has become the son, the sheep a man, and man God. The Lord, though he was God, became man. He suffered for the sake of those who suffer. He was bound for those in bonds, condemned for the guilty, buried for those who lie in the grave. But he rose from the dead and cried aloud, Who will contend with me? Let him confront me. I have freed the condemned, brought the dead back to life, raised men from their graves. Who has anything to say against me? I, he said, am the Christ. I have destroyed death, triumphed over the enemy, trampled hell underfoot, bound the strong one, and taken men up to the heights of heaven. I am the Christ. Come then, all you nations of men, receive forgiveness for the sins that defile you. I am your forgiveness. I am the Passover that brings salvation. I am the Lamb who is immolated for you. I am your ransom, your life, your resurrection, your light. I am your salvation and your King. I will bring you to the heights of heaven. With my own right hand, I will raise you up, and I will show you the Eternal Father. Again, that is from an Easter homily by Melito of Sardis. I'm Matthew Handley. Thank you for joining me on this special edition of Michigan Mornings. Please join me again tomorrow where we'll go back to our regular format of news, weather, and inspiration to start your day. Lord willing, I'll talk to you then. Until then, goodbye.